welcome back to another studio vlog. I am very excited about this studio vlog because I am trying something that I have never done before. But it's something that I've really wanted to do for a while. So I have a big box here and it's basically full of engraving equipment. So I recently got contacted by the lovely Rachel from Scarlet and Pearl Studio and she does a lot of um, in-store events with like engraving, calligraphy, embroidery and she has done one down here in Bournemouth um, but they were looking to basically use someone a little bit more local and she got in contact with me and asked if it's something I'd be interested in. She's providing all the training for me and all the equipment which is what this exciting box is. So tomorrow I've got a little training session with her and then I'm doing my first engraving event for Father's Day. Like that's already booked in. Like, what? This is gonna be so exciting. And then hopefully I'm gonna have a couple more Christmas and Valentine's Day. And I just thought this would be really cool to take you along for the journey because I think a lot of people see like my calligraphy at the standard it is now and just think, oh God, I can never do that. But like, I'm now trying a skill that I've never done before and I'm really interested to see how I get on. Rachel said that because I can do calligraphy, I'll find the engraving a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd take you along for this journey. And first things first, I want to unbox this. Um, I don't know how she's wrapped this. Let's do it here. That will do. Please excuse any mess behind me. Right, let's see what's inside. So she said she was going to provide everything, so I think that's what a lot of this is, is like providing stuff. Ooh, there's a bag. Bag and a box. Oh, okay, well, so the whole box is just a bag. Is there anything else in there? Um, instructions by the looks of it. Oh, so this is her business. Which is really cool. Nice little card. So, it looks like everything is in here. got a bottle of perfume to try out so basically I'll be engraving on glass mm, that smells quite nice there's only a tiny bit left in there so it looks like she's packed lots of different things of glass for me to practice on and I can always get some wine glasses too okay let's kind of show you this okay hopefully you can see that a bit better now and i can unpack as well so i think all the bubble wrap stuff is like aftershave perfume that i can practice on we've got lots of different engraving ends bits i'm not sure what the technical term is Ooh. so there's lots of different shapes and sizes you can see that apparently these blunt quite quickly and we've got some wax metallic finish so I think this is so you can make it gold afterwards which is exciting lots of cotton cotton buds cotton bud cotton buds um, and then this is the drill so she said it was like a dental drill um, so it's proper like a proper powerful machine um so we'll see how i use that this is very exciting i love that it comes in a little bag let's wrap that back up and then what's in this compartment we've got like the plug socket here oh so i assume this powers it god that is heavy so i think you can change like the speed and stuff like that I don't know if I need to wear like goggles for it. We've got a raven coming to say hi. 
Hello, puppy. Are you coming to say hi? I don't think you can use this. No, you can't have the bubble wrap. Can't have the bubble wrap. Come on, puppy. Come on. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. I don't know what's in here. Oh, so another leaf blood. And some business cards. So I guess I will leave those out of bed. I don't really know how that's going to work in terms of advertising myself. So I'm still doing it as part of Scarlet and Pearl. Um, but obviously I'm me as well. So that's things that we need to chat a little bit about. I'm really excited. I can't wait to try something new. Um, obviously a little bit daunted that I'll be doing an event for this in a couple of weeks time. But um, I just can't wait. Uh, I will bring you along tomorrow for my training session which I'm very excited about. I have said to her I'm not going to touch any of this until like we have our chat. I don't want to put anything together because I don't want to break anything so we'll be getting all of this out tomorrow and I can't wait. I think probably just keep changing it up and you'll see what you prefer using. Mm -hmm. so Okay. Hi guys, it is um, Monday the 30th of May today uh, and I just thought I'd jump back on and chat to you about my engraving. Um, I think I last left it where I was about to do my training. Um, I tried to film a little bit of that. I think I managed to get a few clips but my cameras, none of my batteries had battery. Rookie error. Um, I didn't really do anything myself in that training, so uh, the lovely Rachel was just taking me through everything I need to do, showing me some demonstrations, and we were just chatting about the event, so I'm doing an event on the Saturday 18th of June, which I'll be filming as part of this, so the event will already have happened, um, where I will be engraving at Bobby's, which is very exciting. Um, since I had that training call, I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually practice any engraving. However, tonight, I have the whole house to myself. And I don't just mean that the bearded one's not here, Raven is also not here. And I have not had the house to myself like this since before we got Raven. So that was like 18th of February, we picked her up. Um, basically, I need to go into the office tomorrow and the bearded one also needs to go into the office tomorrow. Unfortunately, our friend who normally helps puppy sit is at a photo shoot. So Raven's going on a mini holiday to Brighton with Elliot and he stays with his parents there. So she's just gonna be hanging out tomorrow with his parents and their three dogs. So she's probably gonna have the best time um, I've kind of been milling around the house since they left. It is actually now 25 to 9. I laid down on the bed for a while and did not move. But I was like, no, this is a great time to practice engraving because she's not here. She's not going to be distracting me or getting confused about the machine or anything like that. I can just really focus. So, I'm in my studio now. I have the dental drill, which is basically what is used for engraving and I'm going to document me engraving for the first time. So I'm just going to get the bits out. Right, we've got different bottles. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Um, so I'm just going to get all the perfume bottles out. So we've got different shapes and sizes. So some of these have already been engraved. If you will focus. So you can see that one's already been engraved. Um, I did not do that, they're just examples. So we are going to test these out. This is like the machine, so I need to plug that in. And 
this is the drill and it actually has a bit in it already um, so the bits of the things that you use to kind of engrave I then have some of this stuff which is rub and buff so this is where you can make it go gold and there's a silver one so I can make them gold or silver or you can just leave it plain and then I've got a load of q-tips there's a few things I'm going to need to get for the actual event what do I need? I need baby wipes. I don't have baby wipes, but I have face wipes. So let me go get them. Okay. Face wipes. I need to plug this in. Okay, so first things I need to do is write on it with a pen. So I'm not going to be doing this blind freehand. I'm always going to do the um, like pen first and then I'll engrave. I'm going to start with this flat one. Now Rachel is saying that people use like a cradle. So if I just tilt you down. So people use like a cradle to hold this in so it stays still and then also something to rest your hand on. I have not invested in something like that yet. You, apparently you can just use like a travel pillow or something. I'm just going to use this book. I think that'll be okay um and i'm just gonna have to hold this really steadily yeah let's start with my name i guess that's the easiest thing to do and i think i'm just gonna do it monoline for now just to get the hang of it so rachel said to use like a sharpie but actually this is quite a good pen it's the mono twin pen i think it's from tombow So Millie, and the beauty of doing it with this pen is that um, if it's not right you can wipe it off and start again. Happy with that? So I guess I just start and I think I need to have it on quite a high setting. So there's just a knob you can turn. It went to go really slow. I'm worried that it went too fast. I'm just gonna wipe this off and see how that worked. I mean, it's definitely engraved. I just don't know if it's like engraved deep enough. I'm just going to go over it now, I've wiped off all the pen and then just see. It's definitely gone deeper but where like there was already a groove my um drill was like skipping a little bit um what i'm gonna do now is just try the buff stuff which is this and it just doesn't infill I just need like a tiny amount i think like that oh this stuff really smells i think that might be too much but we'll see so you just buff it in. This is really stinky. And Rachel said I needed to work really quick with this. So just get a clean dry cloth and wipe it off. I 
I think I should be wearing a mask for this as well. I mean, for my first attempt, I'm pretty happy with that. The M went a bit funny here where it like skipped a little bit. Right, I'm going to give it another go. But on this thing, there's a forward and reverse, and I had it on reverse, and it felt a bit like jarring, so I think it's like the rotation of this bit here. And um, I wonder if having it the other direction might be better. So let's flick that up. did say that like if you know calligraphy already then you'll find doing the engraving actually quite easy it's the calligraphy that's the hard part uh, and I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out how cool is that I can do engraving what uh, I want to just engrave everything now I'm gonna have a little play with some of the other bottle shapes. I have a bottle of gin, well, empty gin downstairs I'm gonna have to play with. Um, also, I popped to see Tom from Tom Studio today and I told him about this. And he's given me some blank pens to have a little play with, to see if I can engrave on them. And if I can, then um, that would be cool. I've also got lots of different bits, so like different ni end nibs for this. So I'm gonna have a little practice with that, see what feels nicer and yeah we're just gonna have a little play I'm very excited we got time on our side we're in a state of home I need you on my fire I want you to know that every time you're away I long for so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on our own Do you feel that we got something strong? So been having a little bit more play I kind of felt like it got worse I did change out the like drill bit a little bit and it seems like the thinner the tip the harder it is to do so I did quite a thin tip for this and it didn't have a ball it just felt like it was skipping a lot more um, so that was quite difficult and then the same on this side bit it just didn't come out as well. It was quite hard to control. It just went a bit all over the place. You can see with the E at the end, it just went a bit crazy. So I went back to the original one that I used right at the beginning and it worked really well. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of practice every day. I'm gonna take my own advice in terms of learning calligraphy and doing like half an hour each day is going to be the best way for me to practice. Um, I've just stuck to the perfume bottles. I did have a little play with a Tom Studio pen. It needs a whole lot of practice, so yeah, that didn't work. And then when I used the pen, the pen didn't rub off. That was just a fun little play, though. That's not important right now. 
Um, I've just been playing with the perfume bottle today. Curved surfaces are really hard. Um, so I need to practice those. And I do have some alcohol bottles downstairs, which I'll give it a go on. I feel absolutely poop though. Um, and I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I can actually go to bed early tonight. We're brave and we've been going to bed at about 11, which probably seems like a normal time to most people. Um, but when she's waking you up at like 5, 6 in the morning, that's quite late. So I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to get into bed. I'm going to get in my pyjamas. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy that this turned out really good the first time. I think if I'd done one of my other attempts the first time, I would have felt really nervous and demoralised. But I think I got this. I might just have to be really specific with the drill bit. And uh, Rachel did say that she could send me loads of those ones over. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give her a message in the morning, I think. Oh, I do need to print something up for work as well. I'm going to do that now before I forget while my bath is running. And then we're going to have an early night. But yeah, I'm just going to document my practice over the next couple of weeks. I'm actually going on holiday in the week running up to the event and I don't really want to have like a whole week of not doing it at all so I'm tempted to take the kit with me on holiday we're just going to Devon it'll be easy to take in the car so I'm very tempted to do that um anyway I'll catch you guys a bit later bye <laughs> June today um, and I have some boxes I've got two Amazon orders here one of them is a personal order uh, when I say personal it's stuff for Raven and one of them is stuff that I've ordered in preparation for my engraving so I thought I'd unbox them here um, and we'll have a little look inside so with the engraving I'm being supplied all like the technical equipment from Rachel who I'm working with um, but there's other little bits that I need and I might as well invest in them now so let's have a look this could be one of the things is a travel pillow which probably sounds a bit random for engraving Ta -da! but what Rachel was saying is it's good to have something that you can like hold the bottles in like so when they're lying flat on the table so they don't roll around and then it also means that you can rest your hand on it as well it's memory foam so it does like slowly go down but it does mean it will stop it. My memory card just ran out of battery space. Um, so, as I was saying, these, this can hold bottles or even perfume bottles. It, well, I can squish it together and hold it in place. And it just means that stuff won't roll around. It's black, so it looks pretty as well, even though it's a pillow. Probably cut that label off. And it came in a nice little bag. So I'm going to squidge that back in. So that was item number one. Then we've got 
This is personal. Not like I can't show you, but they are bulbs. Ah, oh, they're bigger than I thought. That's good. I thought they were going to be quite small, but they're good. They are bulbs for our bedroom. It's weird that they sent um, some of the personal stuff with the business stuff when I did it. Like a business, it's all on the same Amazon account. But I did like a business order with my business card, and then I did a personal one. So it's weird that it's like just put them in the same box. I guess at least it's not wasting packaging. Okay. So firstly, I got myself a portable SSD drive. So I use SSD drives to edit my YouTube videos because the video files are so big that they just take up too much space on my laptop and it doesn't really work. I have two of these already. Um, at the first one I filled up, the second one is close to filling up. So I just thought I'd get another one. They're pretty expensive, it's like £105 I paid. But these are really good, they've like, the two I've got have never failed me. They're really small, really small. And like, I don't want to pay like, less money for a hard drive and then I end up losing all work because it's not a very good hard drive. Like, for me, that's just not a good idea. I'd rather pay a bit of extra money. So, this is it literally the size of my hand and that has a terabyte memory so quite a lot of memory a good hard drive highly recommend them next we have face masks um i don't need to wear a face mask for the i don't need i don't need to wear a face mask for the event in terms of covid because Obviously the walls have changed now. However, uh, the dust particles from the glass could get inside me and I don't really want glass in my lungs. So yeah, I just thought I'd get some masks. All of my masks are kind of like bright colours, a few crazy patterns. Hang on, let me shut the door. All of my masks are quite colourful or crazy patterns, so I just thought I'd get something quite neutral. And then in line with safety, I also got some safety goggles. Again, don't want glass in my eyes. Oh yes. That is sexy. Although, if I'm wearing a mask and goggles, is that going to steam up? Oh, they're not steaming up. That's good. How do I look? Oh, so I am missing some stuff then. Mm. So here we have ta -da, a makeup brush, which is only three ninety nine, and this is basically to dust off the glass dust. Just dust it off like that. I might keep that little tubey thing on actually. Um, and that is everything. I have also ordered some like alcohol, um, like rubbing alcohol and a little spray bottle because that will help with the rub and buff stuff which is like the silver and gold stuff that you rub into the glass. And I also ordered some Windex. So I assume that might be coming tomorrow? Who knows? Yeah, I just wanted to pop on and show you some of these little bits that I'm getting to prepare for this show. Hopefully, I can fit everything into this case. And then I don't really need to carry much with me. Um, I need to get some cotton wool pads as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going on holiday on Saturday. I'm going to be taking the equipment with me because I'm literally away until the day before the event. And I'm feeling nervous and I want to practice. So I will just be engraving all of our wine bottles or whatever we have there. And just practicing. Hi guys, it is Saturday the 18th of June today. It is the day I am doing the in-store event for engraving. Um, which is very exciting. Um, I'm just getting myself ready. I've got a 
pretty dress on. I have to basically wear black. Uh, and I'm just about to do my makeup. And I thought I'd chat to you while I'm doing that. So, um, I haven't filmed in a while because I've been on holiday. I went on holiday to Devon with my family, which was really lovely. I did take the engraving machine with me. And I did a little bit of practice while I was on holiday because I'm quite nervous about it, to be honest. Um, never done like anything like this before, uh, but I like to throw myself into the deep end. <clears throat> I guess it can't be any more scary than doing live TV. Hopefully not. So I'm just getting ready now. It's 20 to 8. I need to be there about quarter past nine. However, um, Rachel sent me some like nib ends for the drill. Um, just some like spares. And the path had got lost, so she had to send it again. But uh, it needed to be signed for. And I wasn't here yesterday. So I need to go to the post office and go get that. So that's what I need to do this morning. It opens at 8. I'm nervous that they might say I can't have it because it's not been 24 hours. But, um just got to hope and pray so yeah I need to get there for quarter past nine to set up um, with the aim to start at ten and I think part of the setup is to do some tester products that um, the brands can display I don't even know if I've told you where I'm going I'm going to place bobbies if I haven't told you um, and basically, it used to be a Debenhams. It's now an independent department store. So it showcases quite a lot of small businesses, which is really lovely. But it's also got the standard big beauty brands as well. So yeah, in general, I feel quite nervous. I feel relaxed from my holiday, but nervous about this today. Um, so... We shall see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready because I don't have much time. I need to have some breakfast. I need to finish packing. So yeah, going to finish this. And I'm done. Time to go pack everything up and get ready. Been selling things are well What facts belong it's hard to say Your pattern is so hard to tell But we're together that's our Okay, so I just went to the delivery office and I have the extra nibs for the engraving tool, which has made me feel a little bit more relaxed. Basically, I've been practicing with the round head ones because I found them the easiest. I will try out the other ones a little bit more for my other engraving events, but this one I just want to keep it simple. Um, but they were blunting because they blunt quite quickly, so I needed some spares um, and I've got spares now. So I feel a little bit more relaxed, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm very very nervous I think part of it is because I haven't done a new thing for a long time like I haven't thrown myself into something different for a while um, so yeah I'm just freaking out a little bit I am gonna go now and drive over to the store I've got some parking around the back so I need to figure that out and then go set up wish me luck Like I'm already gone And we're 
whisper your words like secrets written in an old mole skin. And look up above, the sunlight seems like it is gonna break in. And something ain't right. Yeah, something. Sunday evening now and I've just taken all my makeup off and I'm ready for a trio uh, but I just wanted to pop on and sign off this vlog uh, before I do I just thought I'd quickly speak about my experience um, at the in-store engraving event yesterday so um, yeah it's really good it was quite quiet in the morning um, I only did like three jobs in the morning and then in the evening in the evening Sorry, my brain is fried. In the afternoon, I had quite a few to do all in like one go. Uh, I think it was quite a good amount for me to do on my first ever time doing end store engraving. Um, I felt a little bit rusty at first. I think I was a bit nervous, um, especially because all the staff were kind of like milling around a little bit. They were also lovely though and very complimentary. Um, and I think I also just kind of embraced that like engraving can't be perfect unless you have like a proper engraving machine you're always going to get like blemishes or wobbliness so it was quite a big challenge for my kind of um, p perfectionist in me I get like a bit frustrated sometimes if things don't turn out how I was hoping them to turn out but it went really well by the end of it I created a few pieces that I absolutely loved um, I'll share them on screen now so you can see a few of the things I did. Um, 
I had to take photos of everything. So basically, as I've already mentioned, this is working with the lovely Rachel from Scarlet and Pearl. And I basically have to do a report at the end of the, my time there. So I wrote down all of the different customers, what they wanted, what they would bought and they wanted on. Um, and I took photos of everything. So, um, yeah, it was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm hoping to go back there again a few times over Christmas and in the New Year. Um, and, yeah, it's just something I've been wanting to do for so long. And it just kind of fell into my lap. And I'm so so grateful especially to Rachel for like reaching out to me um, and yeah it's just like another opportunity that's come my way that just feels like so right and so amazing and it's come at a good time because I'm going to be able to start putting more time into in-store events like this because I am going self-employed don't know if I've mentioned that in this vlog but I have announced it on Instagram now so if you follow me on Instagram then you'll already know and if you don't follow me then head over there I am doing a whole vlog on going self-employed so that will be the next vlog to come I think so keep an eye out for that but essentially in July I'll be fully self-employed which is quite scary and exciting all at the same time um but yeah I absolutely loved it uh it was a lot easier than I thought to do the engraving, but Rachel did say that. She said that she reached out to calligraphers because you already know the calligraphy aspect of it. So it's just a different tool. Um, there was a little bit of pressure, obviously, um, doing it live in store, but basically all the customers went away and did some more shopping or got some food, so they weren't like looming over me, so that was right. Um, and yeah, all the staff were so, so friendly at Bobby's. Bobby's is such a lovely, like, independent... Um, department store so it used to be Debenhams and now it's Bobby's and they're all for supporting small businesses and it's just such a lovely environment they're also allowed dogs in there so I got to see some dogs yesterday too um but yeah it was a long day um but yeah it was it was really enjoyable um I'm gonna sign off this vlog now I think it's a bit like pieced together I'm gonna see how it is when I edit it uh, but I want to get it edited ASAP because I've got a lot of other exciting videos coming up soon which I want to share with you. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. If you watch till the end, then leave a little kind of perfume emoji. If there's a perfume emoji, if not, then leave an emoji that you feel fits this vlog. Um, and thank you so, so much for watching and supporting. I'm going to be doing a lot more YouTube videos very soon. So if there's anything specific you want to see, then let me know in the comments below. And I hope you're enjoying these kind of more themed studio vlogs rather than just like random ones. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of update you on this engraving journey. I am going to finish getting ready for work tomorrow. I'm in the office tomorrow, but I want to go for a swim in the morning. So I'm just packing my bag now. Top tip to make sure you actually go to the gym in the morning. It's packed the night before. So I'm just packing everything up now, packing up my laptop, and then I'm good to go. I've got a little bit of work I need to do this evening, so I'm gonna, uh, my camera ran out of memory. Uh, that's probably a sign for me to stop chatting to you. But yeah, I was just quickly saying, I've got the report that I'm gonna do this evening. They don't need it till Tuesday, but I'd rather just get it done and sent over. And I have, a wedding happening in two weeks that I need to get an A1 board sent off for and I've ordered the paper so that's fine so I also need to design a palette that's what I need to do um, and then I'm gonna sit in front of the sofa I feel knackered I've been for a long dog walk today Raven loved it I don't even know where she is I think she's asleep in the bedroom I'm gonna go now I feel a bit delirious I feel a bit tired it's been a week of holiday and then a weekend of go, go, go. So I need a chilled evening. I'll catch you soon for another video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>